If you watch my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you'll support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you will have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. Hello everybody, and today with this video, I'm starting a new series in my YouTube channel, CG Dealers. I'm going to start creating a Blueprints mini series. With each video, I'm going to teach you different game mechanics, how to build them with Blueprints and use them in your games. So today's topic is two-way teleportation, and let me show you what we're going to have as a final result. When your player walk to that door, it will teleport to the another door. And from this door, you can go back. So this is a two-way teleportation system that I created. And I also want to share with you that I started a new project in my Patreon, which is called CG Dealers Blueprints Mega Kit. And this two-way teleportation system is included in the Mega Kit. What you will have in the Mega Kit is a functions library. When you open it, you're going to find different functions that you can use in your game. Those functions will speed up your game development process. Right now I have around 30 functions and I'm going to expand this on a weekly basis. So let me show you what we have. We have remove all players widgets. We have pick random spawners by attack. We have teleport to location. We have slow enemy with percent. We have change game speed. And we have a lot of different mathematical functions that will help you with your game development. The idea of this function is just to drag and drop into your project and use the function. To each of the functions that I'm creating, I'm adding a description. And if you can see over here, I added a description, divide two floats and convert the result to integer with rounding. And I give example how it will work. So this is just the start of creating the CG Divers functions. I also create interfaces and macros library. So if you double click on the macro library, we have here a move towards player, check player health, add health, take damage, and I'm gonna add a lot, a lot more. Besides that, I also include examples. So if you go to example folder and go to movement, double click on it. And here you have AI move towards player, where the AI is moving towards your player in range. Let me show you the next one. We have a health system where you can add health, take health from your player. But let me show you the health system with the health bar. This is working with a health bar. And the health bar has interpolation between it, so it looks pretty smooth, not cutting from one point to another point. As you can see, it works pretty smooth. The next one is a spawner system that I've created. Here are random items or enemies will spawn at random places. The next one that you can use is change game speed. If I click here, I put it on 3x, 4x, so this is just a glimpse of the CG Divers Mega Kit so far. Each week a new functionality will be added to the Mega Kit. So if you want to have the Mega Kit, go to my Patreon page, subscribe, and you're gonna have weekly updates on this one. All right, so let's deep dive and show you how I created this teleportation system. The first thing is you need the function library. Open the function library, go to movement, teleport to location, double click on it. So this is the function that you can use straightforward without creating it. But right now I'm going to explain how I create it. So here at the first block, I've added, of course, a description, teleport a player two ways, forward and backward. What you need to have here in this input block is teleport target two, which will be the actor. Then you need the vector three, the destination location where to go. So this should be a vector three. Then you need a destination rotation to go, how you want to rotate the character when it's teleported. So create one more variable for, for it, which is rotator. Then teleport target to origin. This is 
the actor that you want to go back. Again, have a location, which is vector tree, and rotation, which is rotator. All right, pretty straightforward. The other thing is I've created two booleans. So I need to trigger where you are going. When you go to the destination, I need to trigger that you're going to destination. When you're going to the origin, I need to trigger that you're going to the origin. So the, the portals know where to teleport you back and forward. All right. Then we have a return result, the destination, like a boolean, and return result, the origin, like a boolean. All right, those are the variables that you need to include right now. So when you enter into the function, you go to a branch and you check, go to destination. Should we go to destination? If it's true, we teleport to destination. So you need to connect the teleport target too. You need to connect the location where you want to go and the rotation where you want to go. This teleport function, you can find by right-clicking, searching for teleport, teleport, and then removing the context sensitive and scrolling all the way down under transformation teleport. This is the function that you need, all right? You have the target, then you have the destination location and destination rotation, okay? So you need to connect the target where you wanna go, okay? Then you return the value and in the output node, return result destination, where we are going. That, that is why it is destination, okay? If the branch is false and we are not going to the destination, then we are going to the origin, then we are going back. So from the false, go to this branch and check if the origin is, if the Boolean origin is tick as true. If it's tick as true, again, use this teleport function, connect the origin target, the origin destination, location and the origin rotation okay then feed the return value to the return result origin if if both are false then teleportation is not available all right so this is how i've created this function pretty easy if you understand the teleportation and the idea between the booleans and the coordinates okay so this is the first step then what you need to have is two triggers I have destination teleport trigger and I have origin teleport trigger. I place the origin onto the second teleport because when you go into this trigger, you will teleport origin. Okay. That is why I call it origin teleport trigger because you're going back to the origin. And this is the destination because you are going to the destination. The other thing is destination to teleport. I use this cube as a placeholder for uh, my static mesh to get the location coordinates and i use this origin to teleport mesh to get again the location and rotation the next thing is those doors they're just for visual representation okay so we have the function i show you how i've created it then go to the open level blueprints and here you need to create the two-way teleportation so how you can get these uh, two blocks. First, one is on actor begin all overlap destination teleport trigger. Select the trigger, the destination one, right click and on actor overlap. And here, this one, add on actor begin overlap. And it will add this block, okay? When you select it. Then select this one, the second trigger, right click while selecting it search again for actor begin overlap and it will add this block okay so right now we added those blocks and the idea here is when you overlap the destination teleport trigger you go to destination so i'm getting go to destination uh, variable i've created two variables here go to destination boolean and go to origin boolean which i'm going to feed to teleport to location function that i've created so when you overlap the destination uh, teleport trigger, you set go to destination to true. Then this block, how do you get it? You search for CG doors, teleport, and you get the block, the function that I show you just previously. And you have all the nodes here to be connected. Okay. So when you overlap the destination teleport tag, you feed go to destination. So it's true. And if it's true, it starts teleporting your character to this desired location. The same goes for the origin teleport trigger. You set up the variable to go to origin and you fit it, go back to origin. 
that is the first thing that you need to do the next thing is teleport target to go teleport target to origin this is what you want to teleport right now i'm teleporting my character but if you want to teleport something else maybe an npc maybe a projectile or something else you need to hook up the thing that you want to teleport over here so i just get player character this function and i connect it over here as i have one player in my current scene the player index is zero all right if your player index is different just feed up here the player index to something else that you have and then connect it to the teleport target to go teleport target to origin so i'm teleporting this target to the both positions then you need to get the actor location the origin to teleport and the destination to teleport how to get this it is pretty easy just select this cube in your scene right click get actor location put it over here and you have the connections your 3d mesh and get actor location and the location of the 3d mesh then what you need to do is you need to connect this vector 3 to the destination location to go okay then you need the same thing for this one select it we are selecting it get actor location and you have the origin to teleport then feed it again to the origin location to go back right now i don't want the origin rotation I'll just keep it to zero but if you want to rotate your character in a specific position to look maybe at a castle when he teleports you can use x y and z to rotate the character when it's teleport okay then after you teleport from this function this function is working and it is in one block you just fit it and it's working straight out of the box then after you execute this function you need to put those two booleans again to false because we want when you go inside the trigger to trigger again the booleans okay you can do this by uh, when this function ends like setting the booleans to false or you can select any of the triggers and do this like that let me show you select this trigger on actor and overlap and then you can set up let's say this boolean to false you can do this on actor uh, and overlap if you are teleporting inside the door but i'm teleporting a little bit outside of the door that's why i just set those up after the teleportation but if you teleport inside you just need to set up this one to false and set up this one to false for each uh, trigger so i set up for this trigger what i need to do is set up this one again on actor and overlap and i'm just gonna do the same okay you can set it up this like that if you are teleporting inside the act okay so this is how i've created the teleportation system the two-way teleportation system and let me show you finally again how it works teleport here teleport here teleport here or teleport here and of course if you want to add additional functions you can do after teleportation maybe a cinematic event how your character is exiting this portal etc and do this after this execution of the function okay so thank you guys for watching this one once again this cg doers mega kit is in works if you want to support me and if you want to get it go to my patreon page subscribe now support me and i will update this weekly right now we have around 30 functions but my aim is to have everything that came up to my mind also you have the ability to request a function in the patreon page where i will try to make this function and insert it into the mega kit thank you guys for watching see you in the next video and before i end up this video i want to let you know that i've created a blueprints master class for unreal engine 5 it is available right now on udemy so if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, 
and roll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy game development. I'm out.